screaming, crying, and the cops. John and Kate get into a huge fight. Hi guys, Ryan Seacrest here in Boston for the American Idol auditions. We are here looking at contestants. They're all, they're all lined up over on that side of the camera. Right now we're gonna go to New York with more on this Gosselin drama with the police. Hey, Juliana. Hey, Ryan, I am here in New York. I just wrapped my interview with John's girlfriend, but things seem to be getting pretty ugly out there in Reading, Pennsylvania. And last night, it all came to a head for the battling couple. So what set them off? Well, rumors are swirling. It was over another younger woman. Here's Jason Kennedy. It was a miscommunication. Kate crying in her car. Cops called to the house. It's John and Kate's big blow up. And John explains his side of the story straight to the paparazzi. Can you just tell us what happened yesterday? Kate says she was coming home. And I said, well, it's my time to spend time with the kids. And I went and let her in the gate. And I guess she called the police. And the police came. And they basically said it was a civil, civil matter and that we would have to work it out with our attorneys. John spoke to the cameras outside his Pennsylvania home today. The drama began last night around 7 p.m. when Kate came home unexpectedly and demanded to come in. Sources tell E the stars of TLC's John and Kate Plus 8 could be heard yelling and screaming at each other and that Kate was upset about the babysitter who was on duty, 23-year-old Stephanie Santoro, who's also rumored to have had a sleepover with John. I guess she didn't agree with uh, my babysitting. I didn't have babysitting the one day, so I, I called my babysitter Steph, and she came over and watched uh, for filming, and then um, she's always available. What was Kate's issue with the babysitter? I have Stephanie. no idea, I guess, because she didn't have approval. Kate, did you just call the cops on John about the babysitter? Shortly after last night's confrontation, cameras caught up with Kate sobbing in her car. They then followed the reality star as she drove off to a local motel. We heard that the cops were called and there was a problem there with the nanny. Kate checked into the Days Inn and stayed there until 4 a.m. this morning. That's when she reportedly went home under police escort. More on John and Kate's clash at E! Online. And while the mother of eight didn't give any interviews to the paparazzi, she did mention one thing to People Magazine out today that makes her mad. She told us with clenched teeth that the one thing that bothers her is when John, well, brings people home and they stay over. It's not the kind of example she wants to set for her kids and that really makes her angry. So what's John doing to get away from all the chaos? Throwing a pool party in Las Vegas. Seriously, John is scheduled for some R&R &R at the MGM Grand's Wet Republic Poolside Lounge on August 29th. TLC had no comment when asked about their star's upcoming appearance.